Hey, yo, they say the world is yours again at all. All your desires, the car, cash, and crib, living big, that's what you came here for. Fulfill your vision and purpose, your time and season. Your world to live so perfect and searching to find and freedom. In control of all what's happening, your fashion and the grind of hustle, elevate your state of mind and cash it in. All the resources and fortune to utilize them. As greater men, the plan of enriches, pursue and striving. I'm dream chasing, no poverty is our code. Declaring with authority, I make it, I won't die broke. The vision I wrote, so vivid on the tablet, I'm the captain of my own life and the spirit I can have it living lavish is that the reason why christ came the modern day gospel is misleading people's lives changed now my claim to make it clear awake the sleeper the gospel is for hopeless souls who goes way deeper and exposing the evil heart your works are stained with filthy rags your condition of waking your sin is really bad depraved humanity we enemies of christ the penalty is there to suffer wrath eternally the price to satisfy god's justice taking his wrath in the cup you can atone for your sin with death in your heart is poison but christ came for sinners regenerating the pagan but gaining salvation through faith to learn attain forgiveness that's what it is man I want to tell my people this is bona fide the last days fam and the purpose why I wrote that verse is that I wanted to to make clear what the gospel is you know defining the true message of the gospel because scripture talks about uh, he who has the son has life and he who doesn't have the son does not have life so basically you can attain all the riches in this world have all the cars in this world you know chase your dreams and ambitions and everything it doesn't mean that you're saved. If you don't have Christ in your life, you're not saved. You're dead in your sins. So basically Christ came to reconcile sinners back to God. You know, so in order for one to be saved, you need to understand that, you, that first you're a sinner, you know, that you're a sinner against the holy and a righteous God. So in order for you to be reconciled back to him, you need to understand and see your condition for what it is that you see like a need for a savior, which is Jesus Christ. So basically, I just want, I wanted to make that clear that we were dead in our trespasses, you know, we were sons of disobedience. So Christ came to regenerate us as sinners and, and give us life so that we can be reconciled back to the maker. Yeah, that's what it is.